What's good, big dog? It's your boy M1 and Dre. Shogun Army salute. What's good, M1? What's good, bro? Shoot, can't call him Ice Pilot, man. My brother got you know? got to clean up, got that haircut, bro. Hey, happy Easter, fam. Happy Easter, man. She, she was tired of me woofing it. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Looking sharp, bro. Looking sharp. Appreciate it. Yeah. I'm going to let some people get in here before I start uh, spilling all the information or whatever. Um, it's the last day to enter the digital dog show, so I'm trying to make sure I can answer all the questions that people have been messaging and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just blanket it out there and uh, make sure everybody can get it. Uh, start doing a little quick roll call as people get in here. You know, they're going to start coming through. Uh, we got In the Wood 456. Salute. Brother Dickie Foster in the building. Salute. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hard and finish, big dog. What's good? Hard and finish, salute, homie. Brother M1 in the chat and in the video. He ain't playing no games. You know what I'm saying? No, yes, that was sir. early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I had to launch this thing. Let me go ahead and uh, send us live on uh, Instagram, too, because uh, I'm tripping. But yeah, whether you're watching on Instagram or YouTube, man. This is going to be a Sunday weekly wrap up. I told y'all we was going to go live for this Sunday as opposed to the normal video uh, because I wanted to make sure I could answer any questions you might have about the digital dog show. Uh, if you got a question about your presentation, any of that stuff, man, we can get it right today. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's four more days before it's released. So you got time. Start to finish kennels. Salute. What's good, big dog? Yes, sir. But not. So. Also, let me go ahead and give y'all a quick shout out. Happy Easter to everybody in the building, everybody who watches this on the replay. Happy Easter, man. Y'all go out there and uh, celebrate he's risen. Yes, sir. Happy Easter. Happy Easter yeah. to everybody in the chat. For sure. Hey, Hart and Finish said, I didn't know it was so many classes until I looked at the Facebook post. Awesome. Yeah, man. It's um Because if you go to an ADBA show, a lot of those classes are there. The only class I really added was the black and tan um, for the ADBA shows. Uh, and when I when I think about black and tan, I'm not thinking about no Rottweiler looking dog. I'm thinking more like a dog that looks like a typically a brown or a rusty red with like a widow's peak uh, overlay. You know, you can kind of just see the uh, the the pattern. You know, it'll come down on the head. You know, like a little a little V. But um, it's it's nice to get them out there because the brother had asked me to put the, the black and tans in there. You know. And um, it's some old school bolio stuff that uh, I've seen. There, there's some real, some real game dogs with uh with that widow's peak uh, look on their head. Um, the Prince ones with them, had it. What's up? I said Princess, my Soros bitch, she had it. Yeah, Soros dogs be having it too. Yeah, yeah. Now them 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 real 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 dark uh, black and brown with the white chest. That that to me, a hey, if you got it, you got it. But um, I, I don't see me throwing that out of my line. Nah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a, yeah, man. That Rottweiler look, man. That's that's just not something I've seen indicative of the uh, old school uh, American pit bull terrier. Um, now don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. Princess wasn't that black and tan. She she was red with that. She was rust red color with that with that black. You know that black uh yeah. outer overlay. tint. Yeah, overlay. Yeah, she had that widow's peak. It did it all over her whole body. It was nice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, man. As y'all know how we do, uh, brother M1, I got a special one. I got a special one for you. Just for you and JT, man. Salute. It's pretty, it's pretty much a 50, 50 split. 
Uh, one of them got pretty much all sake features, and the other one got that white splash up his nose, just like his mama. Uh, Kamikaze, man. Yeah, man. Like I say, it don't. You know me. I don't want nothing but the itty bitty one. Yeah, and they um they they coming along well, man. They not acting like, they not acting all shy and all that goofy stuff, man. They no, up. no, they, they ain't doing it like that. Uh, they seem to have good character, you know, and uh, yeah. they alert as fuck like we used to seeing. You know, I'm ready for mine. I'm ready for mine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, just so y'all know, um, for my brothers. That's the only ones getting these, man. Uh, we, we're looking at our stock very well. We're overlooking our stuff very well. Um, for those brothers who did hit me up in the inbox talking about puppies, man, like I, there's a lot of good kennels out there, bro. It's a lot of good kennels, man. And and some of them will let you get a dog, man. Uh, if you if you if you're not in the game, you're trying to get in the game, man. I'm looking for brothers like M1, Dickie Foster, the people who've been here and seen what we're building. Because I don't want to put these dogs in the hands of somebody who is unaware of of what it is that we do, you know, hog hunting, protection work, obedience, slap meal, weight pull, you know, um, these dogs, they can get into it. And I actually got a clip I'm going to share with y'all later in the video to express like why it's so imperative that we put these dogs in the right hands. Um, but today's episode is more so about the one, the digital dog show. I'm here to answer all any and all questions about the digital dog show throughout the show, but also salute to you, Melee Kennels, New Suspect Kennels, what's good? Um, also I'm going to release the online obedience challenge winner. And, uh, this brother will be, uh, receiving his hardware very, very shortly. Uh, brother Greg Brooks was in the last one. He wasn't in this one. So we're going to, we're going to shoot this, uh, online obedience challenge videos out there. Uh, I'm waiting for some more people to get in the building though. Cause I want to give these brothers the chance to be seen doing work with their dogs. And, um, and we'll announce the winner. I'll cash up, cash him out right here on the show. And we'll keep it pushing. Of course, we're gonna talk some dogs today. We always gonna talk dogs. Like that's what it, that's what we're about, man. We we lit this stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, without further ado, let me go ahead and hit y'all with that intro, and we're gonna get into the show. This for you. Too many mind. Too many mind. mind What's that thing, son? Mind What's that? Let him go, Andre. Mind the enemy. Too many mind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Supreme Excellence, welcome to the building. Hardy, Hardy Dog, Supreme. welcome. Supreme, what's up, big dog? What's good, big dog? Yeah, man, it's just a Sunday uh, uh, Sunday episode, man. The weekly wrap-up, I told y'all we was going to go live because Wednesday I had to cut it short, and uh, I was going to give y'all some more of that time back. Um, also, y'all do realize that uh, Dogman TV is on later on tonight, so I wanted to go live early enough in the day that uh, – I'm not I, so that I can watch the shows that I like to watch too. You know what I'm saying? Because I like I like to be in the room. You know? Yeah, I like oh, to be in the room. Yeah, show bro. gotta catch gotta catch J Bo and them J and I stop. Yeah, man, J Bo is hilarious, bro. J Bo is absolutely hilarious. Know. Yeah, man. So um, as y'all get in here, uh, make sure y'all hit that like button on the way in. Mandatory like button on the way in. Make sure y'all share this out on different forms of social media because I guarantee you immediately following this live, I'm going to get 30 questions about the digital dog show. And I'd rather just do it as a collective so I can just answer those questions and push it right back out there to everybody uh, live. You know, everybody can get the same answers at the same time. Akili, what's good? All right, y'all. So the digital dog show, let me read the rules off to y'all as well while we on here. And, um, We'll cook, we'll cook a little bit, do a little bit of uh, do a little bit of information, cook, information, cook. All right. So the Samurai Kennels Digital Dog Show rules, general rules. All submissions are due by March 31st, which is today. Samurai Kennels at iCloud.com is a great way to message me. That goes straight to my uh, to my Samurai Kennels iPhone. It's the most effective way to get your entry and answered. Each submission should include your name or the name of your kennel. The dog's name, and if available, its bloodline. At Samurai Kennels, I offer building pets for online pets for five dollars. It is an option. You do not have to do that at all. It's just a service I, I, a service I offer because I do all my own pets. All right. 
the video meeting the criteria for whichever competition you're entering from in either chapters 1.1 or 2.1. Your submission is complete when you receive your digital number. It will be a three-digit number, and in the order that you in the order that the submission was received, ensure you state each competition or competitions you wish for your animal to be entered into. If you already have a submission number, I will reach out to you to ensure your animal is entered into all the competitions that you wanted to enter it into, as well as any updates based upon new information that has been provided. For all competitors, please ensure you have received your digital registration number by April 3rd, 2024. Classes competing this year are best adult male, best adult female, and those are for ages 12 and up, or excuse me, 12 months and up. Best puppy, seven to 12 months. Best puppy, zero to six months. So that's four different classes right there. That's four different classes. And the winners of those classes, so the best male, the best female, the best puppy from each age group will automatically be entered into best in show. And then we will do a vote for best in show based upon the four dogs that are selected from those classes. Dickie with a two piece tip tip. Hey, kicking out that Dickie Foster train early in the morning. That's what I'm talking about, Dickie. Appreciate you, brother. All right. So, the best in show, you can't just automatically enter best in show. Your dog has to win its class to be best in show. And those are points awarding shows, which means that those, those points are cumulative towards a championship in our Samurai Kennels online registry. All right. Then there's fun classes. And for fun classes, what it is is fun classes are not for points awarding shows. They do count toward dog of the year and things like that. And they enter you to all the other competitions outside of the points awarding shows. But for championships and grand championships, we're looking for the confirmational co competitors for those specific uh, competitions. For fun classes, we do have these classes. Best Brindle. Best Buckskin. Best Black Dog. Best red, best condition, best yard, and best black and tan. Additionally, for fun shows, we have the Shogun's Choice, which is where my brothers and I get together and we look for a dog that didn't win in any of the competitions that we thought should have won. That dog we sponsor for the next six months or until the next digital dog show. We send a $50 stipend each month to help feed and get this animal in shape for the next digital dog show. Additionally, typically these dogs have done very well in other shows and other events. But what happens is there's a lot of popularity contests on YouTube and a lot of the brothers with these real with these real hounds, these real dogs don't get the looks they deserve because they're not out here shaking their ass for popularity. All right. So for those brothers, there's still an opportunity. And also a class that I don't that I didn't list is a OTC. And that class was created because there's dogs that are they may have gotten injured. You might have you might have injured a, a, a pad while you were doing your conditioning. They might have just had a litter of puppies. They might have just been bouncing back from some kind of, you know, parvo or giardia. So that class for OTC is for dogs that could not be conditioned. So they can still be shown because if it's a if it's a if it's a bulldog, it's a bulldog. And we all understand you went hog hunting and the dog got, you know, the dog got kind of messed up on the hog hunt. That don't mean you can't show that dog in our show. What you think about that, big bro? Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I'll be kind of reluctant. That's why I don't show. That's why I don't show none of the active dogs that hunt. Yeah. Because I'm kind of reluctant to that. He's got too many tree huggers and motherfuckers that's jealous. And uh, I just don't want no misunderstandings. So I keep the I keep the model. You know, you know, she can walk the run, uh, walk the runway for me. Other than that. I won't be displaying none like that. It's the each his own. I just feel more comfortable that way. And that's respectful. And that's why um and that's why I don't uh I created OTC and um this year when I do the when I release the shows, I'll express that to people like the OTC is for dogs that are pretty much injured reserve. Like they're a good dog, they're they're a purebred American pit bull terrier. But maybe, like I said, because like last year we had a, a dog that competed and she just had a litter of puppies like a couple weeks before. So there's no way she's going to be snapped back into shape like a dog that's been, you know what I'm saying, uh, skipped the heat and been conditioned appropriately in the female class. Understandable. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yep, 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 yep. I can understand it. But yeah, man, shit. Anybody who just want to show their dog, man, if you can't work the dog, man, you can still show the dog. There's nothing, you know, wrong with showing your animal. But yep. A lot of people don't have time because of their work schedule. A lot of people can't do it because of their own personal health reasons. That's all understandable. But if you got a good animal back there and you want to show it, why not? Facts. And um, another thing that I've seen happen is some people just like their dogs to be pet weight. You know, some people just like them fat and happy. And uh, yeah. that class is specifically for those individuals because, every, it, it, you know, conditioning and keep ain't for everybody. It, it requires dedication from you to do a conditioning and keep, you know. So that's why that fun class was, was created. Or you just you're just a young person and, or, or a person is you're not physically able to work a dog, but you still have a good bred dog. You know, these are things that we, we took into consideration. So we added that class in. All right. Yep. So here's the most dog. You say what, bro? Go ahead, bro. No, I was saying because in a lot of times, you know, even though the owner may not be physically able, whether it be due health problems or you know work schedule or whatever day to day schedule, a lot of dogs that are on the yard know how to put themselves in shape, depending on the time of season. Like my dog. She looked like she'd been worked. And it's not because I dropped her feed. None of that. She's constantly active, but she paced out how much she eat because she knows it's getting hot. So if, if you look at her right now, you probably think that I've been working her and I haven't worked her none. It's just the exercise and she eat good feed, but she portions her stuff out now because it's getting hot. She may, I may set it down there and she may not finish it till the next day. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. She takes yeah. it in how she wants to, and she looks damn good right now. And I ain't got to worry about her falling down the heat. And um, that's a very valid point. Also, it's dogs that are naturally like you, like he said. There's dogs that just run around on the chain or running in a kennel, or they do so much stuff that they're gonna burn. They're gonna burn calories, and those dogs are actually really, really hard to keep weight on. You know? Exactly. And those dogs will look good, you know, year round because. Not only is they basically trying to, you know, they basically condition, if you think about it, they conditioning themselves, they're keeping themselves in some, you know, shape, you know, staying active, uh, constantly running the chain, constantly running up and down the kennel, uh, jumping off the uh, off the uh, fence of the kennel and grabbing onto the top and, you know, shit like that. They stay moving. So a lot of these dogs naturally look good year round, man. If you got a dog that you can't work, that don't mean that the dog doesn't look good. If you yeah. hear that your dog looks good, please enter it. Let's do it like that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Uh, M1. I'm. A, I'm. There's a video I'm gonna show a little bit later in in, the, in this uh, live, man. Uh, it's it's a little different, but um, I I had to do it. I'm just let you know that ahead of time. I had to do it. It's coming up later on in the live, man. For those of y'all who oh, rocking with me, probably never did, bro. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. It, nah, it, it's an old video. It's it's a real old one, but um. Yeah, but it, it's uh, it's just, it's just that uh, there were some people asking questions, and obviously I'm not gonna do nothing unlawful. Let me let me start with we're not gonna do nothing on unlawful. We're not gonna violate the 1976 animal rights or animal cruelty uh, laws by any means. But oh no, to educate, to educate people appropriately, man. Yeah, we can educate. We have we have the ability to educate and educate in a in a, in a respectful manner. Uh, yeah. That's right. Shouts out, shouts out to brother uh, brother student for life, man. What's up, brother Greg? Um. So yeah, y'all, while we got y'all in here, uh, like I told y'all, I'm going to release the online obedience challenge video. I just want y'all to see it so that brother can get so that brother can get the recognition he deserved for, for the competition. And um, here are the three entries. The next man, right? It's the will of the man. It ain't the skill of the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't play you. He can't do nothing with you. He were the only two people up. Me, you, and Michael Jordan. That's the only people up. Everybody else in the world asleep. What you think Jordan doing right now? He working out. He lifting weights right now. We out the projects, baby. We out the projects. Where we gonna live at, son? Where we living at, yo? Where we living at? Huh? We living on the east side? Where we at? We up on uh, uh, west side, Central Park, west somewhere? Hey, where we gonna be at, huh? What you gonna buy your mama, son? Just hold you. Too many mind. Too many mind? Mind the school. Mind the people want. Mind the enemy. Too many mind. Good girl. 
down. Wait. Son, where'd you find that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I didn't know you had let every breed in. Yeah, for the online obedience challenge, it's any breed. You That's know what I'm saying? We want That's all good. Now, for the digital dog show, it's but right now, it's just the American Pit Bull Terrier, and eventually we'll open it up for other breeds to have their own shows. Oh, nah. okay, yeah. So it'll be, you know, <laughs> be, like each breed will go, like you know, the American Pit Bull Terriers have their show. Best in show of that will go up against the best in best in uh, best in breed for every other breed, you know, and uh, yep. we'll, we'll do it like just like Westminster. Um, Already. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's, that's, a nice, that's a nice display of uh, training right there. I'll give yeah. all them dog, uh, all them dog men and they dogs credit right there. Salute. So that was all the same dog man, bro. That's our brother Jake Bonner. He come through all the chat, showing love. Um, he hustling, oh, and so good. yeah, he, he he swept the board, man. Uh, a lot of those YouTube dog trainers to be to be talking that junk, you know, uh, they weren't there. And in order to win, you got to be there. So Jake took all one hundred dollars to himself. You know, uh, shouts out to brother Jake. Shouts out to him. I need to make one. I need to go ahead and do one of them videos. You know, <clears throat> I got you know she's like that, just like her daddy, just like the rest of them. They good like with that obedience. I'm gonna do a video, yeah. personal video, I guess. That was some good. Yeah. That was a good demonstration right there, Bonner. Yeah, salute. Not just with the pit bull, with the shepherd breed as well. You know, that was that was a nice demonstration of some training and handling. Yeah, man, and he's calling his line the uh, the Bonner Monsters. Uh, shout out to brother Greg Brooks in the chat for uh, for that salute, there, brother. Because brother Greg, you you know you were the last the last champion was you, brother Greg, and uh, salute to you, brother. Um, and also for the online obedience challenge, the hand walk challenge. Let's just talk about it real quick. Online obedience challenge, man. I could probably throw one of those every other month, and I I think I'm gonna increase the, the I, depending on how the digital dog show goes. I think I'm gonna increase the volume of shows throughout the year to give more people the opportunity to compete. Cause maybe you didn't have time this time, or maybe you didn't get all the information you needed to. And so, um, I could do it quarterly. I could do a digital dog show quarterly. And what it'll allow is at the end of the year, you know, if somebody wins two quarters and nobody else wins two quarters, that's probably going to be the dog of the year. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's just, it's only right. You know, um, also in order for me to create champions in our, in our digital dog show, I'm gonna have to show, give you enough opportunities to make those champions. Uh, that's right. 
Yeah. So so I think we're going to increase the volume. Um, I won't I won't be increasing the prices this year. Like the, the prices are what the prices are. Uh, but uh, y'all y'all give me some ones in the chat if y'all if y'all want to see more digital dog shows throughout the year instead of just the two that we normally have. Uh, and hey, hey, dog. Hardy Dogs, you hit it right on the nose. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly right. He just set the standard on what you better have if you come in here. He certainly did. That's he's that's the bar right there. So you can't come half stepping. You know what you got to compete against. Come on, man. Step on out and show us what y'all got. I know some of y'all got some dogs out there with some good obedience training on. Them. All right. So hold on, brother. And when we got a brother here, I don't know if this is a troll. I don't know, but I told y'all would answer questions. Brother Good Bully said, I heard you didn't let a specific individual in the dog training competition. And this is true. Um, based upon things that came to light, that's not that individual, what he did, that's not what I want to represent my, my movement. I don't have any malice toward that individual, but calling the authorities on somebody without legitimate cause is not what I want to be associated with on my channel. And no, that's, that's, simply put. that's simply to put it. I'm, I'm protecting my brand and there's certain things that my brand can't survive. And that's one of those things right there where I'm a law abiding citizen and I follow the laws, but I'm not out to get any other person that's following the laws. I'm not even out to hurt anybody. Basically, our movement here is to spread positivity through working the dogs and making people become physically fit and mentally active. All right. So uh, with that situation that happened, I had that person on my show multiple times and they never revealed that background. Had they come forth with that information? And uh, yes, it's on the Internet, but I don't have time to go watch every single video that's posted on the Internet. Let's be 100 percent clear about that. Um, so when it was released and with the receipts, I personally made a personal decision that I did not want it to represent my brand. And that's simply put. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's a uh, hey, look, and uh, we got some ones in there. So, um, I'm gonna have are we having a members meeting this Wednesday on the live. So, members, and uh, okay, this is a troll at this point, y'all moderators, y'all know what to do. Uh, because I, I, I think I know who this is, and I know that if, it, if if you are who you are, and I know who you, oh, I think this is, then what this means is that the next thing's going to happen is on your channel, I'll be getting blasted for, for speaking peace. I never attacked you or you, whoever you are, or that individual. I simply made it, I simply created a boundary. And if you can't accept me for setting boundaries, then I definitely don't want to be associated with you either. I, de I don't need people who, who can't. I don't need people in my life who can't accept the word no. Let's put it that way. I don't need people in my life who can't accept the word no. I said what I said. Be blessed on this happy Easter. And happy Easter to everybody out there anyways, man. I always combat negativity with, I always combat negativity with positivity. That's fine, my brother. That's fine. You're welcome to speak your piece. But I've already made my statement on that. And I already made, I don't like to, to I'm not one of those guys who keep talking about the same negativity or the same issues over and over again on YouTube. Um, and that's what it is. Now, my brothers in the chat, they they really believe in this movement and they're going to say what they got to say back. So be careful what you post because I'm, I'm going to allow them to, if just, just the way you're seeking the truth, they're going to tell you their truth. And that's what it's going to be. We don't do disrespecting over here, but we will, we're not going to bite our tongue either. Yeah, man. But let's get back to the show. All right. Yes, sir. So, celebratory. Brother Jake Bonner did a phenomenal job. He set the standard. He competed well. And yeah. he, he, he comes out and constantly supports the other dog channels. You know, I see him in the chats. I watched him moderate a troll out of a, out of a chat the other night on Brother Buck channel. You know, a troll got in there, was running his mouth. And moderators, y'all have a wrench for a reason. So if, if somebody come in here and they ain't got a wrench, you know, they have to learn the etiquette and the decorum of the Shogun Army. And um, peace and blessings to you, brother. Peace and blessings to you. But uh, yeah, so I saw some ones in the chat. So this is what we're going to do. Wednesday night live, come on out. Uh, 
we'll chop it up. We'll decide how we want to move forward as a movement because honestly, the dog shows don't happen without y'all. Point blank, period. Um, I'm also trying to get uh, some of y'all other guys to throw some because I would like to compete in a digital dog show, but I'm not going to compete in the one I'm hosting. I just don't feel like that's right and appropriate. Yeah, man. <laughs> to bring you a fool. But uh, yeah. What do you bro. say? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have to let you look at the chat, bro. I'm, 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 I'm just uh, out of just, just out of the nature of that. There, there's there's a Guaylo in the chat. Uh, somebody and out, Guaylo means outsider, by the way. Let me let me go ahead and clarify that. There's an outsider in the chat. I don't want anything I say or condone to be misconstrued as something that is other than uh, making my stance on a, on a subject. Um, hey, facts, brother. Facts, brother. Student for life. Jake Bonner is a monster himself. Paul Rick, <laughs> salute. What's good, big dog? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me finish reading the rules to y'all, too. Uh, for those of y'all who are here under the sound of my voice, this, this plan on competing, let me give y'all the rest of these rules. And then, uh, Brother M1 and I, Brother M1, I got a video. Uh, it's going to cringe. It's going to make you cringe because you always give me feedback, bro. But uh, I, I, it need it need to be it need to be shown because you've spoken on it before. But I, I, I got to I feel that it's appropriate to uh, address it today. And it's nothing negative. It's just it's just American Pit Bull Terriers being American Pit Bull Terriers, you know. Um, ain't no blood sports or nothing like that in it, but it, it, it is uh it is to answer some questions about dogs that congregate, dogs that 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 hang out together. That's not that's not appropriate for most American pit bull terriers. And if you have the exception to the rule, enjoy your dogs the way you enjoy your dogs. But most of them cannot congregate. They just most not naturally. Let me put it that way. Most of them cannot naturally congregate. All right. So check this out. General rules for the digital dog show. These are a basic set of guidelines used to set up and allow individuals to compete in an internet-based dog competition. For this year's rules, we're keeping them as simple as possible while ensuring each dog has the ability to be seen in a great and positive manner. This will be an annual dog show and is developing a growth, it is developing and growing directly correlated with your involvement and feedback. All right. For adult guidance. For adult dogs, chapter 1.1, adult dogs must be over the age of 12 months and be in good health. Dogs may show some signs of scars, but should not be directly injured or have fresh wounds. Teeth need to be shown. All dogs will have a 30-second video clip consisting of a, a frontal photo, a side shot photo, and a clip of the dog walking. Mind you, you get up to 60 seconds total, but I would like I would like to see at least 30 seconds of the dog moving. Uh, a lot of brothers show their dogs on a slap meal or hand walking them, but um, you you want to capture the dog doing stuff because this is this is based upon votes. So you want to make sure that everybody is uh all your dogs are being seen doing whatever it is your dogs do. You know, if you hog, I had to turn my light up by the way, y'all. I got a ring light, but um, uh, you want your dog to be seen doing what your dogs do. Like my dogs do protection work. Why would I not have protection work in my clip? That's what I'm propagating my line to be. Also, uh, when I start getting into the hog training, uh, hog training, hog dog training, I'll show y'all my, my, you know, my, my, my story, because the thing I want to show you is when I fa it's not just about wins. I think the Internet has become a highlight reel for everybody being successful. But what you don't realize is the pain it takes when that dog don't turn out the way you want it to turn out. It hurts. It hurts. And, oh. you know, and, and Rick. Grit is not grit and gameness is not created by winning all the time. It's just not. Viking family LG salute. Viking. Royal heart salute. Royal heart salute. Heck yeah, heck yeah. You know, M1, have you ever lost a dog uh, in the woods hog hunting? Yeah. How'd that feel, bro? Lost, lost shit. I was young, so you know, I was I was still a boy then. And it wasn't even no bulldog. It was one of the hounds. You know what I'm saying? We had some some hounds <clears throat> that were tracking bay. <clears throat> and uh we fucked around and uh ran up on the south with some with some piglets. And that big old bitch came up out that hole, throwing her tusk around, slid old, slid old hickory ass. Do the belly part right here, open him up. Winston saved him, but he, he would have died. Winston saved him because he toted him up out the woods and shot him to this woman vet. <clears throat> took him took him to her house. But that's all he's like to die. 
And then my partner, he lost a couple dogs. That's because they don't run no vest. They do it natural. But me, I'm strapping on vests to try to prevent that. I don't have dogs hurt real bad. Yeah. Yeah. And shout out to Voodoo Hog Dogger. Um, they got a, they got some videos of their schooling process on Instagram. It is not for the tree huggers. It is not. So if you're a tree hugger, stay up from over there because they're doing it legally. They hunt on their own private land. They own the land. The dogs are properly medicated, and those dogs are also shown at ADBA shows. These dogs are they're doing work. But just because you don't like to see blood sports that are legal, there's a difference between illegal and against your moral compass. Uh, and that's that goes back to just everybody, man. Mind your business. You know what I'm saying? To everybody, if it's legal, legal, L is the first letter of that word, legal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you may not like it. There's things I don't like that are legal, but but you know what? People can people can do them without going to jail. How about that? See, All right. See, that's that's what that's what I'm saying about that's why I don't show the, the active dogs that's in the woods, man, because of situations like that. Yeah, it's legal and all that, you know, but I ain't got time for crybabies, man. That's why I don't show the schooling process for hog hunting and, you know, creating a good catch dog because it's just too many crybabies, man, and I don't got time for it. Salute, hunt down, salute. Um, yeah, that's, 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 that's the very reason why. That's what I was speaking on. It's just a bunch of bullshit. And they don't care that we helping out the environment. They don't care that we helping out the state. You know, they don't care that we helping out farmers and ranchers by doing this. They don't give a damn. They just see us on the internet as guys with pit bulls. Don't let them see your dog got a scar on them for hog hunting. They'll swear up and down at something else. So it ain't yes, even sir. worth it, really. There's a lot yes, of more sir. things I would like to do, but I can't just to just to keep it 100. I can't, you know. Hey, so Student Flight made a very good point. And um, I, I'll give you a story about that with Student Flight. And then when I'm going to chime in on what you was just saying, too. He said, uh, I've heard that training dogs naturally without a vest creates a more intelligent dog. They learn from the pain and approach the situation with smarts. So I was taught by the by the hog hunters that I deal with mm -hmm. that they don't buy cut gear until the dog has caught its first hog without it. The dog earns the cut gear. You know, that's that's a, that's something I think is I think is a very, very valid thing because uh, cut gear, GPS equipment and stuff like that is not cheap. So um, seeing the dog in its, in its natural ability is, I think, is a, is a phenomenal way. Also, like you said, the dog learning to maneuver its body in a way to avoid uh, serious harm is very important, especially when you're doing, in the culling process. Just because a dog will catch a hog doesn't mean it, it's going to catch hogs consistently and be a dog you can help with all the time. Uh, as far as my brother M1 was saying, um, with the schooling process and all those things, man, it's it's not barbaric, but it's not it's not for the weak of heart. It's not for everybody to see, you know. Um, I watch hunting, like literally all I watch on YouTube besides dog videos is hunting videos and car videos, right? And if you go in the comments on hunting video, even if it's just a person hunting with a rifle, um, you go in the comments and they, why would you kill that poor innocent deer? Why would you shoot that coyote? You know, people, people are, they're always going to, they're always going to do it. And uh, so I, I'm very researched about what I, what I tend to share. Uh, I'd like to push the line without going over the line. That's that's my intent is to push the line without going over the line. Um, and with that being said, bro, I'm a, uh, I'm gonna jump back into this um into these rules. Finish out the rules. Then I got a video I want to share with y'all. Just because I I received some 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 hate mail a little a little while ago, and I, I just want to share uh my perspective on that. All right. So for the uh, puppy and fun class guidance, chapter two point one. All submissions for a puppy and fun classes have no specific criteria other than the video must contain the animal being interviewed with up to a 30 second clip and photos to be judged during the show stream. All right. Above all, the goal is to show and showcase the American Pit Bull Terrier in its best light. No registry is required for you to compete in the show. However, your dog should appear and be true to the form as an American Pit Bull Terrier. This means that we're using the criteria listed in the ADBA prior basis of colors, size, and attributes that identify the dog. At Samurai Kennels, we're aware that many dogs have fallen out of the registry due to unfortunate events. However, all dogs entered would be a great candidate to be registered with the ICDR, which is School Boys Registry, or the BBF, which is the Battle Bread Family. Uh, I'm also I'm also the uh, CEO or co-funder of the BBF. 
along with uh, brother Eric Lawton from uh, Battle Bread Canines. And um, any any pit bulls that come through there, uh, typically I'm I'm the I'm the authority on that. Uh, I'm also uh, trying to get voted in as the vice president for my ADBA chapter here in Arizona. Uh, so not only am I trying to create uh, realms for us digitally, but I'm working my way into creating uh, some in-person shows and some events for us to get together as bulldoggers and enjoy ourselves legally. Yeah, um, that sounds like a plan. And that's real good movement. That's, that's hell of good progress. <clears throat> if you think about it, did you think last year, this time, that all this would be going on within the camp? Did you, th <clears throat> did you think the creations, the ideas would have taken us as far as they have this far? Did you think that last year? Nah, man, it's um, my, my dream. I've exceeded my dreams and now we now, now I'm in uncharted territories, bro. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I, like, my, my dream was to, to have some American Pit Bull Terriers that I could be proud of. Th that happened, you know, years ago, um, you know, when I first got into the old yellow dogs. But um, as far as the stuff that's going on now, man, it's it's because of the chats. And like I see y'all when y'all, you know, when y'all give the real y'all talk about what's flawed in the game. I take that. That's feedback. Whether it's in this chat or another chat, I take that feedback and we use it. Um, But yeah. Oh, and the other thing I want to shout out to y'all, too. I've talked to a lot of uh, a lot of hog doggers and I'll tell you why. Because I was always like the question I asked, like I'm 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 green to certain things. And the question I always ask hog doggers, why would you use the dogs as opposed to guns? And guess what? 90% of them got a story of somebody got shot on the hog hunt. And here's accident. another thing. Here's another thing with that, man, and that's true. But just I was waiting on you to try to get through with the rules. That one guy says, you know, training them without the vest and just like voodoo hog dogs and them, you know, you got to, they dog got to earn their equipment, their hardware. Understandable. We used to do that. That's an old school method we used to do back in the day. But you lose a lot of good shit instantly like that, bro. Yeah. Instantly. A lot of high dollar good shit instantly. Whereas if <clears throat> you get the dog the protection it needs, it's still going to learn where the danger zones are. If you let a dog get stuck hard, you don't know how hard it's going to be. You let him get stuck hard without no hardware on, he get injured badly. Don't you know the next time after you heal up and you send him in there, he's going to be kind of weary of getting hit again. He may go in and catch, but he might try to position himself in a way in another manner that he's not used to, and it'll get him hurt even worse. So if he got to learn these lessons, my, my theory is, why not? You're going to be able to tell if he's a good dog. Why not give him the protection that he needs so he can learn safely, so you can make him a great dog? It's going to take time. Ain't none of them naturals. They'll come out there and they'll hit and grab and hold wrong spots and everything. You got to take time. So why not give the dog a security blanket of protection while he learns? When they real little pups, I don't, I don't put gear on them. I just put them in there with a piglet they size. But, you know, when it comes to that six, seven month old mark, they start getting up the size. Well, them little song guys, we catch them wild. They got tusks. They got they got cutters. I'm just saying I don't have nothing against the theory. Uh, that's just over the years what I found to be the best method for me. That way I'm not losing shit instantly. It don't take but one good puncture or one good rip. It's over with. Facts. It's over with. Facts. All right. Um, for those of y'all who are here, brother M1, uh, I do want to go ahead and share with y'all the the video clip. This is from about five years ago in uh San Antonio, and um, it was so. I'll, I'll give you some context. So, uh, people were saying, you know, the dogs, your dogs are around each other, and um, the dogs do this and the dogs do that, and that's not a pit bull terrier, and woo woo. Uh, I'm gonna share with y'all. Uh, I, I did a yard tour, and typically when people uh, get a dog for me, I'll, I'll, that's the only time I really let them come in my yard is if they got a dog, or if I know them. And um, some of y'all might know the voice of the person that's on the yard with me because to this day we are still uh, lifelong friends. But um, he found me through YouTube, and he came through, and uh, this is some footage I allowed him to record on my yard. He sent me the footage back, and I'm, I'm gonna share it with y'all. Uh, th there's nothing really graphic here, 
But um, there's information here that I think people need to see about the old yellow dogs because just because these dogs are are can be trained to be people aggressive, they're not naturally people aggressive, but they can be trained to be people aggressive. Uh, they are still American pit bull terriers, and that's why I wanted to, to share with y'all. Saki's her child. She yeah. played with them too. But they're right there, like this is all the time with them. Yeah. Like, before I had them collars, bro, all day they used to be back and forth. Yeah. And I was getting letters, I was getting letters in the mail, like anonymous letters saying like Mr. Barking Dog Man. And all oh yeah. Welcome to the home of Williams Old Yeller Dogs. I am the Shogun, Andre Williams. Like, follow, and subscribe. What's good, big dog? It's your boy Dre at Samurai Kennel. And this is just some yard footage of uh, Bacardi and Dior back when I lived in San Antonio. Obviously, I've upgraded my <laughs> kennel setup since then. Um, I wanted to share this with y'all because there's a lot of rumors and this and that and this and that about, you know, uh, the training, making the dogs not game or I can't speak to the gameness, but as far as animal aggression, the dogs still have it. The training just helps me to uh, yeah. control when it's released. Um, in this video, they also are wearing uh, e-collars and I wanted you to see that even with the e-collars, it doesn't stop their drive. Come here. Come here. Ah! Tell is wagging. Uh -huh. Her tail is not. Yeah. So she's serious, but that's defense. That's all. Yeah. Pray. That's all go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Her and Saki, man. That's why I'm like, I think Saki, if because it took her, she was about 14 months before she turned on. Uh -huh. And I'm like, if, if when it when he turned on like her, like that drive she got, bro. I, yeah. I'm telling you, bro. I would love to see what the fuck is gonna do. Man. Cause like with her, like I said, like I did, I did nothing with her. Yeah, nothing. Like just natural, natural stuff came out. Mm -hmm. I, I, I need to clean her stuff out, but I'm not gonna do it right now because they, they already own each other. Yeah. So the minute I let her out, it's gonna be yeah. Probably. Well, the, the spring pole used to keep her occupied because mm -hmm. she was focused on prey items first. Yeah. Every time she moves, she she gonna try to match her. <laughs> And it's funny because she is spunkier, I think. Yeah. But she's more scared of the collar. The, yeah. The shock of the collar bothers her more than it bothers the car. Uh huh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Quiet, like, man, stop. What's that, Quiet? What's that? I, I, how, how does she? So she's too. She's two and she's three going on four. She okay. Four. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See that, that this thick, viscous blood coming off the head? Yeah. So, probably about Wednesday, I'm start trying it. Yeah, I can't wait till them pups drop, boy. I gotta get that. Uh, is it blood, the blood dripping? That's yeah. What I thought, I'm pretty sure I saw that on the road when we was walking. Yeah. Uh, it's it's going to be a heavy drip. And when that, when that drip slows, when that drip slows, that's when it, that's when that's when you know it's about to go through that orange color. Yeah. And then when it goes or, orange is clear, uh, she's ready. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. 
<clears throat> Man, Bukari, I can see Bukari getting out. Yeah. See if she get to digging. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um yeah, I could too. Yeah. That's why I need that stuff right there. Yeah. But that them panels are expensive, man. I gotta I gotta buy more of them. Mm -hmm. I, and I thought about putting wood in there, but so the wood she chewed it up. Yeah. Yeah. Cause she she gets out of there. She jumps out of there all the time. Yeah. Um, like I said, like she 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 act tough, but she really wanna play. Yeah. The party plays with them. Yeah. He she knew him as a puppy and she knows Saki's her child. She'll yeah. play with them too. But that right there, like this is all the time with them. Yeah. Before I had them college bro, all day they just back and forth. Yeah. And I was getting letters, I was getting letters in the mail, and I was letters saying like Mr. Barking Dog Man and all that. Oh yeah. Down. Yeah, she's been having this here drinking more. Yeah. Uh, see, that's what I'm talking about. She get on the house. Yeah. And she like, I got the the fence up on this side. Mm -hmm. the thing. And then she'll take that leap. Yeah. Yeah. I hate these cases, but Texas got a, Texas has an anti chain. Law. Yeah, I know they just passed it. Mm -hmm. I want to say like a month or two ago. So it was in effect in San Antonio for a long time. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, so uh, I posted a question on on Facebook about it in one of the groups. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still sick about that, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Hey y'all! I want to welcome, wanna welcome brother, uh, brother Jake Bonner to the chat, the winner of the online obedience challenge. What's up, brother Jake? What's up, brothers? Just wanted to say hi. I uh, literally just hey, got done doing the hand walk challenge. Nice. What's up, bro? Nice. I wanted to show off a little bit of obedience as they're cooling off here. That's salute, bro. Uh, and a lot of people don't realize what it takes to create this picture right here, brother Jake. Oh, it's hard. You got to be on their ass every day, brother. Mm -hmm. You see, see today, no e collar, no prong, but you know, already I got to get on if they want to do something silly. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies, look. That just, that, just, that just demonstrates, that just demonstrates to me excellent dog handling, excellent dog yeah. training. Because they don't know the time to take because they've done it. Look at the focus, though. They 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 yeah. they listen to Jake, but they focused on whatever it is that got their attention because they I got preyed by some birds over there, exactly. brother. Sorry. <laughs> What's over there? They got birds over there. So, sorry, I'm cutting you off. It's a little uh, delayed with this 5G. You good, bro? You good, man? Hey, today is your day, bro. Good job, babies. <sighs> Happy Easter, everybody. Seriously, thank you, Seth, for challenging us so much because literally no one else is putting this this crap out here and um. I mean to call it crap. I just, whoo, I got a lot, of, a lot of stuff on my mind. I'm trying to keep it, uh, keep it PG. <laughs> yeah. Hey, brother Jake, I also, um, did you get the, uh, did you get my last message? Uh, hold on. Wait a minute. I don't think the I one about you. the rules. No, no, no. I sent you a, I sent you a test on Cash App. I sent you a five dollar test on Cash App. Uh, when you get a chance, verify that before I send the other ninety five. Just to make sure it's you. Um, yep. Yep. I just got to get back to that phone at home. Okay. Okay. Just let me know, bro. Just let me know. But salute you, man. And happy Easter to you too, my brother. Thank you, brother, so much. Yes. Yeah. And I don't know if you heard, brother M1 had gave you a salutation as well, brother. Salute M1. Thank you so much, OG. Oh, yeah, man. Hey, excellent dog training, excellent dog handling skills, man. I salute you, man. I know how much work it takes, bro. You mind if I uh, hop off and uh, catch you guys once I get back home? That's too easy, man. That's too easy, brother Jake. Man, congratulations again, bro. And I hope to Thank see both dogs in the, uh, uh, in the digital dog show, man. Salute. Absolutely. Peace. Peace. All right, brother M1. Um, so you've already kind of, you know, you've seen behind the curtain with Samurai Kennels, bro. And, uh, 
And uh, hold on, Supreme, I'm gonna get to that because I I met Constant Pressure and they like I I will always uh, sing his praises. But um, so brother, when you had kind of insinuated that before, man, like with the training thing, bro, like don't get it twisted. Like if I leave those dogs alone in my backyard, it 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 will be a bloodbath. Uh, they're not training does not make the dog not be a pit bull. Let me say that training does not make the dog not be a pit bull. What it does is during because. Training don't last all day. Like if I, y'all see my dog healing, that's where it walks beside me with it, looking up at me and all that stuff, man. That's for show. Okay. That, that is, that is a dog and pony show that lasts as long as I'm engaged in that animal. And he, and he's focused on whatever food or whatever reward he thinks he's going to receive. Um, you know, and yeah, the training, yeah, I can do it without food. But what I'm telling you is that's not an all day thing. You know, that they don't do that all day. They're still dog, even service dogs, which you don't see off cameras, even service dogs, when they go home, they're just dogs. And they're going to do what the dogs do. Whatever that breed does, it's going to do it. The training, all the training does is it's an off switch. And I'll give you a quick example. I'm going to shut up because y'all know I'll be getting diarrhea of the mouth. With my dogs, right, they see a, a squirrel or a rabbit or a deer and they want to go after it. If I'm in an environment where I can let them go, I'll let them go after the, after the animal. But typically what I'll do is I'll give them a command like sit or stay right before I let them go. And what a dog learns is if I do what he's asking me to do, he's going to let me chase that thing I want to chase. That's the reward. I'm using their prey drive to reward them. And then and then when I call them back, sometimes I'll call them back off of a rabbit or call them back off of, after, off of a bird. And as soon as they come back and I can lay my hands on them, I let them go right back after it again. Because they're like, okay, well, if I come back to him, he's not going to just tie me up. He's going to still let me go. So I might as well come back to him and do what he's saying. That's I'm manipulating their behavior. I'm not changing the dog. OK, and so uh, share that video clip with y'all because that blood is there. You know what I'm saying? It is all my dogs at some point have, have shown me some form of animal aggression as American pit bull terriers. And those of them who I can't who, who can't shut it off for training. I move them along to other camps who don't mind them being that animal aggressive. All right. Yeah. Um, Jesus. She's a she's a spitting image of clone of her mama, and yeah, I, it shocked me when when I found out now that she'll you know she'll try to turn on. It shocked me because I wasn't expecting it from her. You know, she her her demeanor was too laid back. So when it came out, it came out of nowhere, and I wasn't expecting. She was behind me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, man, they they got it. Like you know. Believe me, they got it. You ain't you ain't even listen. Listen, if you're not there to monitor them dogs, they gonna do what them damn bulldogs is bred to do. Period. No questions asked. And 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 Dre got it better than me because see, I don't know specifically exactly what life will happen if she take off after another dog, which I don't want. That's why I only I only do her off leash in public very seldomly because it ain't no telling when you're going to run up on a dog. And I don't, you know, we ain't trying to have that problem right there, man. But they are on. They're going to be on. You can expect that, no doubt. No doubt. And you don't want it because their mouth is terrible. You don't want it because their mouth is terrible. Jesus Christ. Yeah, man. Hard uh, shout out to brother Wee Moon in the chat, man. Big salute to you, brother Wee Moon. And uh, Wee. I'm gonna spill, spill on uh, constant pressure because I met the brother. And uh, first, first thing I noticed, first thing I might, I didn't know who he was when I met him in uh, in Houston because uh, the brother had drove across like five states to come to a dog show, top dogs in Houston. And uh, he shows up with a black dog. And he had a Rastafari, uh, Rastafarian colors around the dog's collar. Automatically caught my attention. Automatically caught my attention. And um, so he's there. He's with an older brother who had on a kufi. So once again, caught my attention. And um, so I'm watching him throughout the day. And mind you, it's probably 85 degrees out there. And uh, all these show dogs were gassed out. All the show dogs were gassed out. Even my dog was not showing the same energy at... 3 p.m. that he was showing at 8 a.m. when we got there in the morning. But constant pressure dogs, there's a reason why they call it constant pressure. That dog, a black dog in the sun, y'all don't even understand. That dog's probably five degrees hotter than the other dogs out there just because of the color of his coat. Okay. 
this dog flirt pole from 8 a.m. until we shut down the uh, top dog's training facility at 7 p.m. That's work. And in the heat, for a black dog, five degrees, mm, yeah, at times, but it can exceed five degrees by a lot. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, buddy. Yeah. Uh, most people's dogs would have been hit that wall and had to come down and get that second win and go back up. So think about it. That's pressure. That's wind. It's conditioning. Yeah. That's that right there. That's the kind of stuff that, and this kind of goes into this question right here. I don't know who this is. Probably another. I don't know who you are. All I know is I haven't seen you before and your name is moderator, which kind of has troll vibes to it, man. I would highly encourage you to get a better name. But if that's your name, that's your name. Person says, would you ever take on a beautiful male, full bred that only has three legs, no animal aggression at all? Um, No. We do and working I, dogs. I, I, I'll tell you why. Um, At a minimum, my dogs have to be able to kill local varmints raccoons possums i find dead animals in my backyard all the time and my dogs earn their keep by by protecting my my uh i understand i just never seen you before moderator like see these brothers in the chat with the with the, with the wrenches i've seen them consistently in the chats and due to the fact that we have had a lot of trolls i'm always weary of new new uh new people in the chat but welcome and if there's no trolling then you will be treated with the utmost respect and dignity of the shogun army um but yeah, man, as far as for me to that question, uh, my dogs all, I'll give you an example. Okay. I don't have to walk my dogs at 2 p.m., 3 p.m. in the morning or 3 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning. But due to society's norms of how they treat people with these dogs, I choose to walk my dogs at times where I'm not going to be around the general public. All right. That's, a, that's just like carrying a firearm. I can lawfully carry my firearm. In most states, open carry. North Carolina, South Carolina, Texas, and Arizona, every state I've lived in, I can open carry. It's my constitutional right. But I still conceal carry because for the general public, seeing me with a firearm is just too much. It's a sensory overload. And I'm not there to trigger other people by being who I am. I'm considerate enough of society's not being where it needs to be at to accept me as an African-American person walking a pit bull down the street. That I just do what makes what works for me. I work out before daylight. I walk my dog before daylight. I do all these things before daylight because it gives me peace and solace. Peace and solace. But also having a dog that's not animal aggressive at those times, those are coyote hours. All right. And, I, and if you watch my channel, if you go back to when I first got to Arizona, my first day here, a coyote walked across the parking lot at the mall my first day here. There's javelinas less than a block away from me. It's raining outside right now. There's a wash, which means that the javelinas are going to be rooting this tonight. On there's, there's a path that I think is a it's an actual walking path in my community. But these animals don't know that's a walking path for the for people. It's their environment, and so not having an animal aggressive dog in my camp doesn't suit my lifestyle. All right. And that's my answer to you, my brother. Uh, shout out to Cold Mountain Bulldogs, member in the building. Salute to you, big bro. Tip, tip. Hey. Yeah, man, I deal with working dogs and I can't I can't have a dog that's working with three legs. Um, if one of my dogs got injured and uh, had to have a leg amputated, of course, they got a home for life. But as far as taking on a dog. That's a three-legged dog. I can't. I can't bring that dog to my yard uh, he, if he can't work. Yeah, man, that's big facts. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to the OGs, GHK in the building. What's good, big dog? Little twin, salute going hard. Yes, yes sir. sir. Big bro, bro. Twins, been, twins been turning up on him lately, bro. Hey, hey, twins. Yeah. Twin. yeah. They say they're they taking no prisoners, and I, and I like it, man. You know, the Marines say they water the grass with blood. You, you know I love it when they go in. I swear I do. 
I'm gonna have to check it out. I've been so damn busy. The thing of it is, when I tune in, I can't hear. I can't hear they show for some reason. It's so low that it's so faint that I can't. I cannot hear it. And I'm like, damn. And if, if I'm away from the house, then I I gotta miss it. Unfortunately, I tried to go back to the replay and it plays low just the same way. And I'm wondering why. I tried to text them and let them know. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm getting frustrated because uh, I haven't been able to watch the last two shows behind that. Yeah, man. I, um, but they still scratching, bro. Dude, brother, stay scratching, man. Stay scratching. Yeah, I, for I, show. Show. Beverly White says guard work is not for pit bulls. Hey, you're you're welcome to your opinion on that, man. We've discussed it many a times. And uh, I'll tell you this: you do with your dogs what you want to do with your dogs, and I'm gonna do with my dogs what I want to do with my dogs. And I and I peace and blessings upon you, but that's your opinion, and you're welcome to it. You can always post your opinion here, man. But I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not gonna change my my opinion of what I've seen. I tell you that. Salute to you. Hey man, uh, I'm gonna post a link to the. Uh, I'm gonna post a link to the to the thing, man, because it's the thing, bro. Uh, I'm not gonna disrespect y'all, and I've been I've been too humble with my responses to people, and uh, and the general public, they uh they take kindness for weakness, and I, I have to express this as a person. Okay, let me let me let me let me let me let me put this in bulldogger terms. The 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 opportunity to find a game dog, the opportunity to, find, opportunity to find a real working dog, and the opportunity to find a real genuine human being are all very rare occurrences in life, right? So I'm Samurai Kennel. Everything I'm basing myself upon is, is samurai stuff, right? And so everybody in ancient Japan wasn't a samurai. So to walk across one, people would cross the street because that samurai, although he was peaceful and, and, and very, very professional, at any time was authorized to cut your head off if his fife lord or the shogun allowed that in his fife, which means that that quiet individual that trains constantly and goes to war and does his tea ceremonies and wears his kimono appropriately at any time could get pissed off and chop a mug head off. All right. And that's, that's the, the ideology behind, I'm not going to chop your head off. Like, Unless you unless you pose me imminent danger, but what I'm saying is, is just because I'm not coming over here and 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 poking you in the chest, don't mean you're gonna come over and poke me in my chest either on my channel or in real life. All right. And because of that, it's extremely important that I that I do set those boundaries now for people to understand that speak your peace, but don't let your peace and your and your uh, First Amendment rights. Infringe upon my rights to speak my piece as well. Because the freedom of speech, I fight for it. Do you? Um, I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to leave that right there. Those of y'all who've been following the channel, y'all know my occupation. Y'all know that uh, it, it's put up or shut up with me, man. It's put up or shut up with me. And um, that's what these whole dog shows and uh, Beverly White, salute. We agree on that, Beverly White. Salute to you. That's what I'm talking about. Salute. Um, but we and we can also agree to disagree. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why, man, brother Ween, I gotta give you your kudos, man. Brother Ween and I, we had a very, very dichotal uh discussion on Brother Buck channel. Y'all gotta go check it out. I don't remember what I think it was maybe 1.4, 1.54. Man, that's how men articulate themselves. Shouts out to Brother Ween Moon, y'all. Give him some ones in the chat for Brother Ween Moon. Um But yeah, man, I, uh, I'm posting the link for any of y'all who want to come through because uh, I'm not going to keep you off forever. This is just making up that time. I lost, I cut back about 45 minutes of the show on Wednesday night. I had some family things going on that I had to, I had to jump off of there. Shouts out, start to finish. Cold Mountain, salute. Tony him in the building, salute. Yes, sir. A hey, Wayne, these ones is for you. You know what I'm saying? We, these are the positive ones. You know what I'm saying? A1 day one. Viking family LG. Yes, sir. 
snowman with the one in the building. Amen to that, brother. Amen to that. Yes, sir. Heart and finish with the one. We ain't they showing you love, brother, and you deserve it, bro. Give 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 these brothers their flowers while they breathing. Give these brothers their flowers while they breathing. Viking family LG with the double ones. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But yeah, y'all, digital dog show entries. Uh, make sure y'all get them in by 12 p.m. West Coast time. That means on the East Coast, y'all got until 3 a.m. Sir Kennels, I need you to come through real quick, bro. Uh, ain't, ain't I got nothing for you, man. I just always appreciate when you're on the panel, bro. Uh, slide through. Uh, man. Beverly White said, Red Boy and Eli. Okay, Beverly White, you about to set it off here because there's some brothers that will never cross that line. But uh, yeah, man. Shout out to Henry James, man. Hey, all y'all moderators, man, I got mad love for y'all. There's a reason why y'all got y'all wrenches. Also, to the new ones of y'all uh, for coming on the show and uh, or even in the chat as far as getting your moderator uh, wrench, the way I'm going with it is old school. There's a lot of things the old school dog men did, and I see it now. And then when you're going to like this one. Uh, for those of y'all who are new and don't have your wrenches, it's going to take some vouching from these brothers with their wrenches who have proven themselves over time and consistency. Uh and we'll start doing during our members meeting at the end of each month. Y'all come through and we have, we have vote on whether you know whether you've been consistent or not. And not just my chat, but it's a collective. Like, so if you're rocking with me, that means you're rocking with Schoolboy because Schoolboy be on here. You're rocking with GHK because they be on here. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we'll start voting. Brother Carl Richard, um, I'm gonna go and hook you up because like Carl, you've been consistent. Uh, is there anybody with a wrench already to suppose the brother Carl getting uh, his wrench today? Because uh, speak now forever, hold your peace. But I seen Brother Carl in, in Buck chat, you know. And then a uh, moderator says, could you explain the digital dog show entry? Absolutely. Uh, our digital dog show, moder uh, Brother uh, 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 Angel, I don't know if uh, Angel, Angel is one of those names that is uh, androgynous. So, uh, but, but for the digital dog show, long story short, it's online obedience or online confirmation show. We vote on it just like American Idol. You know, as a collective, we decide what we want to see win for confirmation standards. And to, to answer, all you need is uh, a frontal picture, a side picture, the dog's bite to ensure the dog has a proper scissor bite, and then a video. Typically, the entirety of your of your submission should be no more than a minute. And uh, you submit that one minute video clip, and then uh, we release it, and we give a couple of weeks for everybody to vote on the dogs they like the best. And then we um, we announce them. The winners get cash up. Uh, it's cash prizes. And we also have some trophies now to go out. Um, some specific military because we're the Shogun Army. So they're, mili they're military style uh, 30 mil uh, trophies that represent uh, people putting in hard work. Because the goal of our channel is to show the dogs, show them in a positive light and give those who can't get out to the ADBA shows and the APDR shows, give them an outlet to still show these dogs and get their kennels push to the forefront all right and um it's done very publicly uh all the all the votes are in the are in the comments so everybody can see it it's almost like a homecoming a uh, homecoming thing right um it's it's non-traditional and we will do some shows that are judged because some people still want to be judged um you said can you take it to a real show so no i'm not affiliated with any uh i'm affiliated with adba i'm affiliated with bbf but as far as my points count towards their shows, no, I'm, they're, they're not going to do that. Uh, they're not going to do that until unless this is this is what this is what it would cause uh, Beverly White. If I were to give them rights to this, because right now we're independent, we're under we're under my LLC, we're independent, and it's, it, I look at it like a rapper signing a signing a three sixty deal. Once I give them the rights to that, or once I once I hand that over to them and allow them to participate in there, they're going to take my vision and go completely whatever direction they want to go with it. So I'm not. This is no, I'm keeping my masters like Ray Charles. I'm keeping my masters and, and we're making the music. Yeah, right. You know, um, I, I'm a very, very uh I practice humility because it's one of the eightfold walls of my of my Bushido code, but um I'm I'm not a dumb individual either. Samurai were typically very, very well educated, not just in combat, but in uh arts and arts and geography and mathematics and science. So um it's very it's very important to me that uh if I'm going to be on here and call myself a shogun and trying to lead people, that I show them exactly what's going on. Salute, Emmy James, man. We appreciate you. Salute. Hey, uh, so go, GHK, uh, GHK, do you stamp Carl? I, I think he should be stamped, man. Um, 
I need a couple more stamps, but yeah, I think Carl should be in there. Also, welcome, Sir, Sir Kennel. Oh, yeah, Carl, good. Carl, good. What's going oh. on? What's going on? Shoot, can't call it Mike Scarlet, big dog. Hey, man, look, hey, you, so you told me, you told, hey, what's up with you, OG? When you told me get up here, I say, man, it's my military friends and cuz, y'all always make me nervous when y'all summon me. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I didn't pose the wrong thing again. God damn, y'all know I'm get up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. I um, I just like the energy you bring to every chat you on, bro. And I wanted to give you your flowers publicly. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate uh, you, man. Yeah, man. I want to appreciate. Hey, I want, I want to give you your flowers because you know I'm dealing with this this shit with my stepfather, man, and his last days of life. And you've been working with me with getting my entries and explaining stuff to me. You ain't been getting the attitude saying it's a link. It's a post you've been explaining to, you know what I'm saying? So man, shout out to you. Cause you, you definitely, uh, living up to what everybody's saying about you, Jack. Yeah, man. And if, if I tell you the truth, bro, like you M one, all the brothers in the chat, every one of y'all at some point had said something that made me have to adjust and, if, if that's kind of what keeps people around me is okay, man. Like who go, who gonna say something that is so provocative that it makes me step outside of my my little SpongeBob square headed ways, right? So I, like I appreciate you, and when I appreciate you, brother Sir Kendall's. You a real one, bro. You a real one. Yeah, you man. Real one. I look. I know you locked and loaded with all that work, all them entries. I know you. I, I know it's a gang of folks. <laughs> I already know yeah. it's a gang of folks. I was telling my peoples, I'm like, man, I wish this wasn't going on. I know it's about to be some calm, but these dogs about to look good, Slim. But I tell you what, so the brothers, the brothers in the chat, prior to you getting here, the brothers voted. We're going to start doing them instead of every six months, we're going to start doing them quarterly. So we have another one coming out next quarter as well. Yeah, man. Okay. We're we going to keep it. We need to create more. We need to create champions so we can have a champion class because uh, Gas and Goes Demon. You know what I'm saying? Gas go probably mad at me right now because I told him demon can't compete with the regular dogs no more. And I see, I see, I noticed when I found, read the rules real good. You, uh, uh, to, uh, after 12 months, you y'all consider them they grown dogs. Yeah, you up now, with the I big dogs. This, I will give you because you you mentioned something that's very very valid. So, and a lot of shows, you know, they have age brackets. Right now, as we're growing, I'm trying to get the infrastructure because as we grow, the infrastructure is going to get better. Eventually, yeah. I hope to see you know. Uh, one year to two year, two year to three yeah. year, and then three yeah. year and up. But right now, as far as uh, the revenue, my YouTube revenue is going up, and as my YouTube revenue goes up from views and contributions, um, we'll, we'll open into more classes. But every class, every class that I add is more money out of my pocket. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's you. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm willing to. I'm willing to uh, I, I know all help might be uh, wanted. So. If you need any footwork, you know what I'm talking about? Holler me on the back end. Huh? Definitely. Yes, sir. Out. Hey, so like Beverly White says, uh, they won 15 shows. Hey, salute to you. Hey, sir, was that you that sent me that um that puppy that took uh the best best puppy to pick picking and all that stuff? Oh no, I got a best in show at at one of the uh ADBAs uh at the Tri-State. I got second place at Tom Gardner's. For, uh, I think okay, it was six okay. month puppy. Yeah, yeah, man. For those of y'all who don't know, man, like uh, a lot of these people in the chat are are either above ground or underground. They legends, man. You know, and and these are the things, man. So uh, sh sharing your accolades, there's nothing wrong with sharing your accolades, especially over here, because what it does is it tells people who to go to to get the information they need to be successful. All right, you know, I, I like to quote. I like to quote old school. Old school. Uh, stuff and like bruce lee said if i tell you i'm good you think i'm bragging if i tell you i'm bad you think i'm lying so i say nothing to you but um in these yeah. situations uh i think that those y'all who hog hunt you don't have to put it in the chat but reach out to those brothers you know tap them on the shoulder in the chat and uh and give them some something positive you know but be careful every everybody's not your friend um that's why that's why the vetting process has to be stepped up you know the vetting process has to be stepped up because there are people who who want to do COINTEL pro they want to get in there and cause mischief and we don't i don't want that for none of y'all man if you're just showing your dogs enjoy your dog you can show your dogs and people still gonna hate because they don't like to see them uh in condition in condition weight man it's, you're gonna get hate regardless yep. regardless, yep. regardless. Yep. yes you sir, know but, it's, um, it's, it's one thing it's one thing to own a german shepherd it's one thing to own 
you know, this or that, a Labrador retriever or a Cocker Spaniel. But see, I got to go over this shit again and again about a pit bull terrier. A pit bull terrier is the hardest breed of dog to keep alive. They subject to so much bullshit, bro. If you think I'm lying, I've said it once, I'll say it twice. I've seen dogs live up under the house, up under the trailer, 9, 10, 11, 12 years, ain't never had a shot in his life, body full of mange. And that motherfucker, I lived every dog that done came through the damn yard. But a pit bull terror, I'll be dead by morning if you don't know what you're dealing with. They the hardest dogs to keep alive, in my opinion, now. I'm just telling you, though, so <clears throat> you're getting good, valuable information. We are all open to questions. I even ask questions. Don't get it twisted. Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. Hey, sir, I do want to um, I do want to send uh, prayers of health and prosperity to you and your family with everything you're going through, my brother. Um, oh, man, I appreciate you, man. We 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 be forward stuff, man. We ready for it, you know. He was a good dude, and uh, you know, like my parents are God fearing people, so you know, we gonna be tough, man. I appreciate you, brother, for sure. Hey, y'all, I gotta let brother Jake Bonner back in here. He's back and uh, he's ready. He's ready to act. So uh, let me let him back in here, y'all. Brother Jake, welcome back. Hey, brother, we got home. Confirmed that cash app was good, and uh, we're just resting now. All right, I'm about to shoot you the rest of it right now, man. Uh, Brother Jake, uh, being that you uh, being that you competed in one and two different uh, online obedience challenges, um, I would like for you to, to help judge. You can still enter the next one, but I would like for you to help judge the other classes that you're not involved in. Uh, is that something you'd be willing to do? You know you got it, brother. Anything you ask of me, you got. Salute, man. Salute, bro. I appreciate that, man. And I'm, I'm going to tell you all something, man. I, Jake, I don't know how you do it because really – uh Saki is my most well-trained dog and that's because I put all my focus on him. I don't know how you do what you do, but that's impressive. That's impressive. Most people don't even condition multiple dogs. We do every day work. <laughs> yes sir. Yes sir. And brother Jake uh Just to show off a little bit. We live right on the main street. It's my girls. There's a yard full of dogs over there, and they just chilling. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the salute. Hey. salute. Yeah, man. Hey, uh, that that that's a solid brother right there, bro. That's a solid brother. I see y'all oh, in the yeah. chat too. I appreciate y'all. I definitely see y'all in the chat. All right, brother Jake. Uh, that's coming through, bro. Yeah, make sure you verify that you got you got your winners, brother Jake, and um, hopefully that helps out with some of that training equipment because it ain't cheap. There's some nice collars on the dogs too, man. It's crazy. Like y'all don't even understand. Like um, y'all don't even understand. Like when I look at when I look at people's stuff, I really don't even like to look at other people's dogs uh, because I'm I'm not judging. Well, I am. The drill sergeant in me judges everything. The drill sergeant in me judges everything, and uh. And because of that, uh, I'm looking at this brother, and I'm looking at things like, look, look at the collar. That's not your, your that's not your standard little fourteen dollar collar right there on this doll. You know, uh, they're yeah, two inch collars. They fit it appropriately. They, they're worn on the appropriate portion of the neck. They're not down on the shoulders. Like man, it, it's I I really like to. I don't I don't get my I will never get my un my unfiltered opinion of dogs because I'm so critical. I'm such a critical person, and I I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, man, uh, I just had to, I had to, I had to point that out because I don't want y'all to miss what, what's, what's being shown to you right now. All right. I don't want y'all to miss it, but um, yeah. And some beautiful looking dogs, man. I really, really do like them. I really like that battery bitch. I really hey, do. Hey, hey, I was just, I was just staring that bitch down, man. My bitch got battery. That little, that little <laughs> bitch, that, that little bitch probably a ball of fire, hey, man. When you heard you guys, when you heard you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I like them both, but that tiny bitch with them bad ears. I like it. Yeah, them red devil dogs, you had them tall ass ears too. 
Some of them Bujo dogs got them tall, bad ears. She came up close like, we, like she knew we was talking about her. She <laughs> you say what? She, That's supposedly what she is. My brother says she's off a of Boudreau yard. She got no papers. I can't prove it. Yeah. They look good, man. They look good. Thanks, brother. <laughs> hey, brother Jake, uh, how many? How long have you been conditioning them to get them in shape for shows, though? I just, I'm just curious. So, little one has been on it on and off maybe the past four weeks not really like too hard just like introducing her probably super hard the past two weeks like you know getting it right and then uh winnie here honestly i've been slowly uh practicing for this crap all year bro i've been um you know i want i want to win this i'm in it let's go bro that's it bro <laughs> yeah oh, Oh man, moderator, I feel for you, bro. I really do. But things is gonna get better, and you gotta keep looking up and keep putting your best foot forward and trust and believe things is gonna get better. I yeah. understand, you know, that you that you're going through a thing right now. You love your animals so much that you wouldn't want to take them to a, a pound. I wouldn't want to either, man. But yeah, just just keep hope alive and just make sure you keep moving forward within yourself. Keep moving forward. Keep yourself mentally stable by moving forward, progressing every day, getting a little bit done every day to achieve your goal. Grab a job. First of all, you grab your little job. You can start with a temporary service, you know, find somewhere to keep your dog during the day and go make you a few dollars and start making you some money. And that's going to help out a lot. As long as you got your ID and, you know, some other form of uh, identification, social security card, uh, a, a piece of mail from the government to an address, you can use any of that and you can still probably get a job, bro. So, you know, that'll help you out. Start off with the temporaries and start building your little change up and, then, you know, go for something better. In the meanwhile, keep putting in applications for full-time employment and some a door will open up for you, bro. I promise you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, I, I love the work. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they're so focused on him that they, 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 they're willing to work, man. And for those of y'all who don't know uh, about obedience, man, obedience is work. The dogs get just as tired from obedience as they do from, I ain't going to say just as tired. It's a different kind of, it's mental fatigue. It's but, mentally uh, tired. Yeah. Yeah, moderator. Um. Moderator, I'm gonna post a, a number in, in, in the chat, man. Uh, I want you to reach out to me. Yeah, moderator, I want you to reach out to me. Um, uh, everything is not meant for. I, I share a lot of my business on the internet, but um, that's that's for me to share because uh, everybody can't do that, and everybody is not willing to do that, and that's that's fine. There's no smoke for anybody, but um. Yeah, man. I um, I want to reach out and see if there's anything I can do. Uh, in moderate, let me give you my background. Uh, so my background is I'm I'm a sociology uh major. Uh, I'm involved with a lot of social programs and a lot of different things. And um, any 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 programs, anything I see that I can use to help. Like we have the Grace Church program out here in uh Tucson. Um, and uh, through them, I've had I've, I've had about three ex cons. I've helped them get hired at uh at different um. At different venues around town, like working gigs, so they're always looking for like uh, laborers at like the. Uh, they've always had they're always hiring laborers for like uh, for cleanup and tear down at like the we had a car show for example coming up on the fifteenth of April, here and um, the Grace Church uh, program they're they're hiring some some uh, some people to go out there they're gonna make eighty dollars for you know it's only eighty dollars but it's, it's it's guaranteed eighty dollars uh, once you show up and you you just set up the car show. You know, then you can walk around and, you know, and then you come back for the teardown and they, they cast you out right there on the spot. And um, any social projects, and because I, I, my, my goal is to be a project manager and, and eventually voted on to a town council somewhere. But um, if it's in your area or if I know some military, uh, some military outreaches in your area, uh, I would love to, to, to get you some information um, directly. So uh, that's my number. I, I'm going to put it on the screen for you so that you can um, so that you can have it and you can reach out to me. Uh, and if all, if all else fails, we can pray together. You know what I'm saying? If all else fails, we can pray together. But um, I want you to win. 
genuinely. A uh, also uh, moderator, uh, start to finish says, if you have a cash app, drop it. Um, yeah, and uh, I, I and and I also if you if you do have a cash app, if you drop it, I'll I'll, I'll put a piece in there as well. Um, I'm always cautious about giving out money, but uh, I don't mind. I don't mind sending a little something. To just make sure you and your dogs can can have a, a day to yourself. But um, I'd rather teach a person to fish than to give them a fish because if you give a man a fish each for a day, but if you teach him to fish, they eat for a lifetime. And I, I'm looking for something that's, that's sustainable. And that and 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 making sure that you have a, a ways and means for yourself is the best freedom in life. That part. All right. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, so you were saying that part? Uh, yeah, you agree, yeah, brother? Yeah, yeah, that part. That part. I totally agree too, man. You know, these are the type of people that we are. You know, this is what this community is all about, man. Trying to help each other and better each other in any way we possibly can help. And if more people would, would do like that, bro, it would be a better place for all of us, man, for real. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, so, yeah, and then, uh, like I said, moderator, that's my number, man. Uh, feel free to reach out because uh, when I get off of here, I'm going to lift. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to lift. Uh, everything I do for the community, I, I do it out, out, of, out of the off the sweat of my brow, and um, I'm proud. I'm proud to do it. I'm proud to do it and, and share with y'all whatever I can share with y'all. Uh, blessings to you too, student for life, brother Jake. You there? You down south, right, Samurai? I, no, I'm in. So okay, so I'm from North Carolina. Uh, I was stationed in San Antonio when y'all first met me on YouTube, and gotcha. now I'm stationed in uh, Tucson, Arizona. Arizona. All right. Okay. Um, I'm going to post this on here, moderator. Both uh, go ahead, bro. No, I was saying we was both in Texas. We both just recently left Texas, but I'm still down south. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah you popping okay. out of schoolboy uh, confirmation show? It's the one in Cali, right? Yeah, yeah, ain't even no question, bro. Ain't even no question. I miss the West Coast. I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm back in DC, man. I miss the West Coast like a motherfucker, man. I miss home too, man. I need to go visit my family and see my my daughters, man. For sure. All right, hold on, y'all. Um. Y'all, if y'all, if y'all, if y'all feel so inclined, uh, the brother, the brother did post his, uh, his cash app in the, uh, in the chat. Um, dig that, dig that, dig that. Yeah, man. I don't got a date yet, chat, but, uh, coming soon, man, I got a cool little interview coming up, man. I'm going to interview an OG dog, man, from back in the day. We're going to talk about, you know, his walking these dogs and his father walking these dogs. He was born in this. Miss here fraternity, so it should turn out to be a good interview. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be looking forward to that. Yeah, man, I'm excited, bro. Hey, make sure you uh make sure you uh you share it so we can um go in there and support you and we can share it out of as course. well. Of course, of course. I've been fiddling around on uh stream yard trying to figure it out so I don't get up there looking retarded. <laughs> yeah man i was uh i was i was i was trying to multitask. i can't multitask uh but yeah man it's a it's a blessing hey so look um beverly white i'm gonna say this all right there's a time and place for bulldog talk and it, there's plenty of bulldog talk to be had but um there's also social issues and I care about the animals, but I care more about the people behind the animals. And I think that's the different, the different of my, yeah, that's, that's what, that's the end of part of me to start and finish. But, um, yeah, like it's some of these brothers having real issues and well, goodbye. You're welcome to leave whenever you want to. Um, th that's, this is what I'm talking about. The people don't care. Like you went, you went in dog shows, but you don't care about your fellow man. I ain't, I ain't, I don't support I don't support that attitude. You you're welcome to have whatever attitude you want, but that's not that's not gonna be in the Shogun's army. It just won't. No, sir. 
<clears throat> you know. And I hope y'all don't think that y'all are ruining it for the good people that, that Dre Hawk has has compassion for. We we know when he turned up on y'all that it ain't for us. So <laughs> when when y'all ruin it and he turned and he turned into who he is and he stopped being humble, we're gonna be laughing at y'all when y'all sitting back saying, Oh, what happened to you? Y'all did it. We sitting back, watch y'all keep playing, y'all keep playing over and over again. And we, we see it, we see it. Well, they gotta understand that there's a ghetto nigga inside that educated black man. Hey, that's, that's, that's how I was. That's how I was trying to put it down. But I'm trying to stop being a ghetto cousin on everybody's show. You feel me? I'm trying. But since you said it, like he said, y'all better shut the fuck up and chill out. The fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. It's, we, ain't, uh, we, ain't, we, ain't, we ain't the army just because you know what I'm saying we we just run around kumbaya. It ain't like that. We hope for better days and we gonna push for better days, but don't push us. You, you know that type of situation. It it ain't like that, bro. We not trying to do that type of situation, and y'all see that. So I don't understand why y'all come with the shenanigans. And I ain't trying to throw gas on the fire, but you just said you had forty seven dogs in the dog. So how many of them forty two dogs is in the dog show coming up? Hey, let me let me stop you right now, sir. Let me stop right now because I'm gonna tell you why. My bad, bro. My bad. No, no, you good, you good. But I'm gonna tell you what was being done. And so a brother just said, I know y'all seen the Boondocks in the wood four five six. Those comments are meant to trigger exactly what you're talking about. An uh, N word moment. And so this is what they do. Okay. And I, you got to watch the media. The media will trigger you to react and then only capture your reaction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when That's I react, I always react in a way where it'll make anybody watching just my, even if you watch just my reaction, let's say cut certain words and, and repaste them in certain areas. It, 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 you'd be like, well, this person articulated himself in such a manner that I want to know what kind of angle the person was talking about them coming from and if you go back yeah. you know like 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 uh like nipsey said last time i checked it was no smut on my rep you know and so what that does is when they, when those haters come on here and do that on my channel they can go back four or five years and they but like, this brother been consistent he's been consistently who he is the whole time uh he's been he's been blessing people and bringing peace and positivity and it's like student flight was saying man anybody who hating man I, I try to I try to structure my movement in such a way that to hate shows that you are not a person for the people anyways. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna expose yourself. Anybody you see me beefing with, one, you're not gonna see me beefing for long because I'm gonna I'm gonna address it. I'm I'm gonna paint my narrative and I'm gonna shut the hell up. And then if they see me at a dog show or something like that. That that person that brother Emma was talking about, that's what it I don't post videos of me slicing fruit with swords and punching stuff and lifting 315 pounds in the gym for my for my benefit. That's hot dogging. Mm -hmm. That's any any logical person be okay. This brother is 195 pounds, he benched 315. He he's the number three competitor at every base he's ever been to in power and competitive powerlifting. He's close quarters combat trained by the military. He can kill a target every 300 yards, proven on his 522 through the military. I'm certified. So anybody who is trying to trigger me, I know what I'm capable of. It's just like back in the day when brothers was getting certified in karate and taekwondo and those things. Your hand or boxers, your hands become registered. I know I'm certified. So a person trying to trigger me, they obviously either one are certified. And if they want to pick a fight, let's 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 do it legally. Let's get a let's get a license and do it. Or you're trying to show me to be a savage and paint me in a light that I don't have to show myself in. I know what I'm capable of. That's why I show y'all what I can do without combat. So that when I'm put into a combative situation, it's like, okay, well, what did you think was going to happen? <laughs> you know, um, like I said, I, I choose my words very carefully because uh, the ancient samurai, they used was called calligraphy. Calligraphy was a style of, of art. It wasn't just the words they put on the paper, but it had to be beautiful. And that's that's what this dog thing is for us, man. It's got to be beautiful. The presentation got to be beautiful. You know what I'm saying? If your yard ain't clean, maybe pick another day to, to show the yard. If it's muddy, wait for it to dry up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. <laughs> but look, y'all, I'm not going to hold y'all much longer because, I, like I said, uh, every two and a half hours, I live for two and a half hours, and then I get on, I get on, I get off the road, and I do things with my family. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it is 4:09 p.m. where I'm at, so I'm gonna get off of here. 
Uh, if y'all text me, it might be a little slow responding. But as long as I get as long as I get your text message or your intent before 12 p.m. tonight, because I'm driving, I can drive up to 12 hours on Lyft. And to make sure that I can have all that money to cash y'all out and to give everybody what I owe them, uh, I'm a Lyft because I'm going to leave from now to the 15th. So what will happen is uh, I'll get your messages. I'll respond to them as, as I get to them. But best believe what I'll do is Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and my text messages for the month of March, from March 1st to March 31st. As long as I got your intent to enter by 12 o'clock tonight, you're good. That's why I'm giving myself three days to screw up all my accounts and make sure I don't miss nobody. Also, if I miss somebody, best believe I'm going to take the video down, add them to the video, and we restart an account. Because what I'm not going to do is cheat nobody, especially when I'm doing with people money, because I can't stand for nobody to play with my money. I can't stand that. <clears throat> Definitely respect that. Nah, man, these brothers, they, these brothers are trusting me to put something together that's, that's actual factual. Also, I got two competitors for the for the slap mill race. I want two more. I want to do four way. All you got to do to enter is free to enter. Have a slap mill. We're gonna y'all see how we got the four little the four little squares on the screen right now. We're gonna take these four squares and put them up here. And I am one. I don't know if you I don't know if you're available, but basically we're gonna have a ref. And I, I've decided to cut it down to 30 minutes instead of an hour because I don't want the tree huggers coming on here saying they, they're abusing dogs. But what happened is we're gonna do 30 minutes, just like just like old school. M1 or 601 or whoever will say release and you'll let the dogs go on the slap meal. And as a chat, we're going to talk about, you know, who, whose dog, not just because they all go, they all probably can go 30 minutes. Whose dog went the hardest, whose dog showed less fatigue. And that's the dog that's going to win. And all you got to do to enter is say you want to enter and the winner gets 50 bucks just for showing their dog on a slap meal. All right. Now there's yes. no, the only hidden agenda is, is putting stuff like that out there gets me views. For every ad that shows on my page, I get a certain percentage of the ad sense, the revenue. That revenue allows me to put the money back into the community. So literally sitting here talking to us on the live helps me get you paid because it pays me. All right. And that's that's the gimmick. I'm you know, definitely on the slide. I'm definitely in that. Yeah, yeah I'll be available, yeah, girl. You already know I got you. I'll, you know, I'm gonna handle that for you. I'm definitely in that. And then M1 gonna call it how he sees it. He's gonna say, Yo, look, you know, um, <laughs> hold on just a second, y'all. Start to finish that. When do you want me to pay you? So, check this out, y'all. If you want to get in the show, and I'm, I mentioned this on Wednesday night, I want to put this out there for y'all. Some brothers just don't have the funds or a cash app. So, this is what I'll do uh, start to finish. Go ahead and submit the videos. Submit the video. And if you win and you didn't pay, then I'll just deduct that $10 or $5 from, from what you won. Like, the goal is not to break brothers' pockets. The goal is to put it out there so the brothers can compete. Because, like, I know I know some brothers right now that have hit me up in the back chats or hit me up in text messages, and they go, man, I want to get in, but I don't have the money. I don't know if y'all know this, but shouts out to uh, Yurok, Shrenok. Shouts out to um, brother, uh, man, I don't want to mess it up. Uh, dang. Paris. Uh, they won money on Wednesday night's uh, show and, and and put it back into the uh, – they sponsored a couple of free entries into the dog show. So his brother. It was another that, brother that did as well. It was another yeah. brother that did as well. Yeah, they, they won the uh, money and they put it right back and into they the community. It right back. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely so remember those, when they did that. That was fire. Yeah. Cold Mountain, salute, bro. You know what I'm saying? So Cold Mountain down. So we need one more entry. And like I said, it's free to enter. All you got to do is I'll send you the link. We'll be on here. It'll be five people on the link. And we'll show all the dogs in the little four squares for 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? I'll silence the videos so they won't hear y'all cheering, whatever y'all say to y'all dog. But M1 and uh, some, of the other, some of the other brothers will be, you know, we'll be just uh, talking board all talk while the dogs is running in the background. So, like, it'll be, a, it'll be a regular show, a regular live. The dogs running in the background. Woo -woo. We all watch and we can see which dogs is, you know, foaming at the mouth first, which one's slowing down, you know what I'm saying, which one's quit. Um, and when the 30 minutes is up, M1 is the referee. We'll say this dog right here. You know what I'm saying? Going once, going twice, sold, and boom, cash out. Fifty dollars in the chat, straight like that. Just like that. Yeah, straight like that. We like man. it because yeah, we just want to see working dogs. We just want to see working dogs, man. And this is no knock on my brothers on the underground. Uh, I love I love the brothers on the underground because if it wasn't for the underground, there wouldn't be no above ground. You got to start with the foundation, right? 
Um, but I do want to give the brothers who just want to go out and have fun and they want to be in, in there. This is a social media era. So I want to give those brothers the opportunity to show their dogs, man. You know, and then um, what I want to start doing is the bloodlines I talk about. I want to talk about the dogs that win my shows, start pulling up those pedigrees because I love seeing the pedigrees y'all send me in the chat. But I want to see what's working now. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. That's a good thing. I want to see what's working now as well. Yeah. Cause I'm not gonna lie, man. Go ahead, brother. I'm sorry, man. I'm, I got diarrhea in the mouth. No, I just been I just been curious about that for a while. But um, I'm looking at putting wind into my dog. So, the winner of the slap mill race, um, I'll slot you in for a old yellow puppy if you if you were willing to take one. Um, that's this this is the option. You don't have to do this. But the next breeding. Uh, Cause what I'm looking to do is to cross some wind into my dog. They got hella mouth, like brother M1 was saying. They got hella mouth, but um, we I can't go into the woods just yet. Not not the way I want to. Saki can, but he's a cross. Saki is a Saki is a Jeep Red Boy Rascal on top of a uh, Spike Frisco, and he has wind. But the puppies, they got they got that Bacardi wind. You know what I'm saying? And um, we want we want we want to see who got that wind because we got we got mouth we got we got prey drive but we won't win, and this helps. And we got the females. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, uh, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking to. Um, honestly, I'm looking to. Like I said, I want to put wind in them, and I want to put just a little bit more density. So. Uh, if you guys, you know, the winner or whatever, you want to talk about a future breed, and I'm open for that as well. Hey, that's a, yes, I saw a great question in the chat, uh, Dre, because um, I was thinking it. Um, somebody asks, does the brand of the uh, meal matter? Because somebody might say, oh, this person's on that or this person. I was going to say, man, everybody make sure y'all meals are clean. Make sure you feel like your meal is at tip top shape. So in case you, there is nobody feeling like, oh, that meal might be better. I, I kind of feel like that was a good little point. Well, so gotta, well, go ahead, well that's all, like you say, like you say, that's all, that's all up to you and your personal care or your equipment. That's what that boils down to. Just like you said, sir, it boils down to your your personal care and upkeep of your equipment. We just trying to see, you know, uh, which dog is going to perform the best. That's what we have to. We ain't trying to judge your, your meal uh, quality or none of that. So just come with y'all best is all I can say. May the best dog win. So, so, so if you feel like your meal isn't, you know, y'all just don't, don't don't try to cause no ruckus. If you feel like your meal ain't where it sets, you know, you know, just don't make a make a mess of it. Yeah, sure. or even if it's not up to par, you feel like it may hinder your chances of winning. This is a then. competition. Like this is a competition. Yeah. So people is bringing dogs that they feel like a competition. They bring in equipment that they feel like it's good for competition. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. that's, right. that's right. That's right. Your equipment has to be up to par as well as your animal. If you feel that there's a chance that your equipment may be or hinder you from winning, then uh, obviously it's time for some new equipment. Um, yeah. And that's not trying to be nasty about it, but like my man Sir said, this is a competition. You are responsible for your equipment. You know, you know, just like cleats, just like shoulder pads and helmets, you got to provide the equipment for your athlete, bro. Yeah, and then there's also no equipment challenges too. The hand walk challenge is still available too. And uh, the question was asked about. The, I'm gonna get to that question to start to finish. But uh, the question was asked about the hand walk challenge. And for the hand walk challenge, all you gotta do is have a phone or a watch that can record the distance you traveled in one hour. Take a screenshot of that watch and a small clip of the dog doing the walk. And that's another $25 just for walking your dog. See who can cover the most distance. The whole goal of our activities is you cannot be a lazy dog person and win our, and win our, not, not one of our shows can you win being lazy. Not one of them. You have to be just as hard a worker as your dog. Because that hand walking, I got brothers right now that's 50 plus hitting me up saying, Dre, my knees hurt, but I put in as many miles as I could on this, on this hand walk challenge. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, it, 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 it's like that. It's like that. 
Yes, sir. Dre, why don't you check? I don't want no smoke with y'all hand walking boys. I got bad leg problems. I wish I could put in road work. Lord knows, but I don't want no smoke with y'all. I don't care if you're sixteen or hundred. You won, mother. (laughs) You won, brother. So let me get to this question real quick. So start to finish. That's a good question. He said. What do y'all think about the question earlier of showing your before picks and your aftermath? Hey, so this is what I do. Okay. For that one, That's I think that is fair. Yeah. I, yeah. But I'll, I'll do this. I'll have its own class for that because um, that one right there deserves a little bit, a little bit more uh, credit because what you'll be showing at that point is people going to be coming, like people going to be coming to you if you win that one just for tips on conditioning. So um, that will be a class. We'll discuss it at the members meeting on this Wednesday. Uh, as well as uh, the future show schedule. Um, but no, like that's uh, Supreme Excellence brought that idea up. Shout out to Supreme for that one. And um, yeah, also Brother Hemi and uh, Brother Cold Mountain said some real stuff too. They said money hits, but they want, they want something for their dogs. So um, I tell y'all what, this one right here, I'm going to go ahead with the prizes that were announced. But in the future, if there's, a, if there's stuff that y'all want besides just financial compensation, uh, Let's talk about let's talk about that because if you want stuff for the dogs like collars and hides and things like that, then um, that's what we need to be getting as prizes for the digital dog show. Uh, for me, the money is because I, I buy whatever equipment I want. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, sometimes I just want to go get some um, some dine or you know some new stock. And having that cash in my little cash app is is very effective for me to make that decision. But if y'all want me to just go ahead and uh. To kind of, I'm always gonna do financial compensation because I this is this is my thought process, y'all. Growing up as a kid, I didn't always have access to the funds I needed for the things I wanted, and uh, rather than selling puppies, if I could have competed in something like this when I was 16, 17, it would have been really, really nice to um to be able to just take my dogs and and just off my pure youthful exuberance to go out and win some money to help me better my program, you know. So um, yeah, man, you uh. Definitely, definitely well noted y'all comments, man. And uh definitely gonna um definitely gonna take that in consideration. Please come out with some ideas as to what kind of prizes. I think uh brother Cole Mountain said he wanted um homemade or something, uh, something that was more uh more uh sentimental. So um brother Cole Mountain, please reach out, bro, and um give me some ideas of what you would want specifically because you're a member, so uh so he say like hand drawn artwork. You know what's crazy? So um, a lot of dog shows that I go to, they have those. So what I can start doing is uh, I also can draw as well. But um, uh, when I go to the dog shows, I can start copying things like that because I got a collar from Saki that I got from Mexico from some um from the guys who campaigned his grandfather, and um, and it's it's two pit bulls they facing off on the collar. It's a leather a two and a half inch leather dog collar, and um, that's my prized possession. I would never raffle it off, but if I go down to Mexico or my friends from Mutual Con send me some more uh, equipment like that, man. Uh, those are things that I think I think would be great. And I, I'll show that collar. Uh, I'll do a video on that collar for y'all so y'all can see it. <laughs> Hold on. He said, I walk my dogs in barefoot shoes. It's better on the knees. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I thought you said you walk in barefoot. I was going to say, whoa, that's rough on them roads. <laughs> that's rough. Brother Hemi said uh, options is a good idea. Okay, yes, yeah, so we can do options then. Um, for his show, uh, I'm not going to change it up because I already put it out there, and the people who entered are expecting what, what they were told they were going to get when they enter, so I don't want to change that up for them. But, um, yeah, man, uh, I'm thinking June for the next one because I'll be uh, I'll, I'll be uh, on baby leave. I'm thinking June for the next digital dog show, but we'll get together, and I want to make sure that, uh, the input is from those people who are actually entering dogs. But, uh yeah, man. Y'all know we keep hides and um, things like that. So I'll uh, I'll take it into consideration, and we we will get y'all the stuff that y'all are asking for for the prizes. I want to make I sure the prizes are there for you in the back chat. I'll tell you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's that's yeah, you want you want something again, brother John Kramer, the noble salute. Welcome, John Kramer. Hey, so uh, brother John, we about to get out of here and hit the back chat, bro. But uh, it's good to see you, man. Um. <clears throat> M1, Sir Kennels, and Brother Jake, if y'all want to give him some parting remarks, uh, Brother John, please make sure you catch this replay, man. We had, we, had a, we had a phenomenal time today, bro, and it's good to see you. Also, the reason I call him the noble is he's one of the ones who donated his winnings back to uh, getting some free entries into the Digital Dog Show. Um, salute to all y'all brothers who, who, uh, 
who practiced that uh that service before self. Straight up, man. I like to thank all y'all for coming out. Once again, happy Easter. Uh, you know, happy Easter, peace and blessings to everybody, including the panel. Man, we got big things coming up still, man. We got things in the in the making. I got some ideas. I'm gonna run by bro and see what he think about them that I think that y'all will enjoy. Uh, every now and again, I'm gonna start doing more things on my page. I'm really not interested in just having a hell of a page, but I'm gonna start back doing more things on my page. Um, yeah, so turn on y'all notifications for that. Um, like I was saying in the beginning about the dog sh about uh, the dog show and the treadmill race. If you got an animal that you feel like look good, show it, show it. Um, everything's not gonna look good to everybody, but there are people who are gonna like what you displaying. So, so just come on out and show your dogs. Um, Drake gonna do it four on four, head to head, a two by two, and um, it would have been nice if we could have got you know, two rounds of that, but like I say, we ain't stopping right there, so next time it'll be bigger. We'll get more entries in because people are going to see it and they're going to want to get involved in that as well. So, yeah, we appreciate y'all, man, and just stay on the lookout for everything that's coming up. Salute, brother. Brother, sir? Let's keep the vibes where it's set over here. You know, we got Samurai's got a beautiful thing going, man. Let's keep this train moving. Let's keep this thing moving. And let's keep this thing moving because it's beautiful. And we all know it. We all know it, man. Shout out to Samurai. Shout out. Congratulations, yeah, brother Jake. Congratulations, brother Jake. Salute, bro. Hey, facts. Facts. Um, Shouts out to my sister, y'all. Today is her birthday. It's also Easter Sunday. Happy Easter to everybody. Uh, sis, I know you're watching. Um, you probably you probably enjoying some libations right now, uh, because it's it's seven thirty on the East Coast. So I know you're turning up. Uh, I love you, sis. Uh, Mom Duke's watching the show. I love you. Um, to everybody who came through today, may I respect. We appreciate y'all. I appreciate my moderators for for stepping on next when needs to be stepped on because that's what the Army does, you know. And um, Digital Dog Show tonight at twelve p.m. West Coast time. As long as you have your but what I mean by intent is if you message me and say, hey, man, like uh, I'm getting the video together. Uh, as long as you get it to me before I'm done editing and you said you're, you made your intent known, you'll be in there. Um, if you don't have the cash up front, uh, that's fine. Like I said, I was just deducted from the, the cash prizes that people win anyways um, if you don't pay. But like um, the goal is to get the dog seen. It's not it's not the raising the money helps me helps me get prizes and, and to give back to the community. But at the same time. If even when it was free, it was about the dogs. All right. It was about the dogs. And it's always gonna be about the dogs. Um, those of y'all brothers who got y'all YouTube channels, man, stay motivated. Every one of y'all, I've been as, as many of y'all as I can find, I've been in y'all's uh videos, and I see the haters. You know, the tree huggers come through all they don't just attack me, they attack all of y'all. And so we stand stronger together, stand stronger together. Yes, yes, sir, sir Kendall. We stand strong together, and as long as we stand together, we will not fall apart. All right. Um, so y'all know I gotta pay the sponsors with the intro, but uh I made this video for uh for brother Mo, but this 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 is what I got for the tree huggers. Oh, you want something to do, man? Huh? No.